Good morning, Berea Mid Park. I'm Mason. I'm Adam. And I'm Ashlyn, and these are your morning announcements for Tuesday, March 1st. Today marks the first day of Women's History Month. The national theme of the month for this month is providing healing and promoting hope. We will be bringing your special videos throughout the month in tribute to Women's History Month. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Interested CCP students have an opportunity to meet with Ms. Medina in the Atlas Room during Lunch and Learn Thursday and then again on March 10th and 17th for a series of CCP workshops. She will be available to assist you with any questions you may have regarding the registration process. If you are unable to attend the evening CCP presentation, please review the recorded presentation online under the School Counseling tab. Remember, Social Club meets every Friday during Lunch and Learn in B108. The group provides students with a supportive space to make peer connections as well as develop your skills and leadership roles. Bring your lunch, play games, and have fun. Students, the SAT is tomorrow for juniors beginning at 7.20 a.m. No other students will be in the building tomorrow at the end of the SAT. Juniors with standard time testing will be dismissed at approximately 11.45 a.m. Busing home will be provided. Juniors with extended time will be dismissed at approximately 1 to 1.15 p.m. and busing will be provided home as well. Students, Officer Cause from the Book Park Police is offering more service opportunities for any interested students. Service dates are all Saturdays from 8.30 to 12.30. The dates are listed now. He needs help with snow removal and indoor work within the city limits like the police station, rec center, or old BPM. Once the weather breaks, he would like responsible volunteers to paint hydrants and addresses on the curbs. Sign up in the activities office if you are interested. Here's a video from our Co Lake Outdoor Science education, education class. Did you know there is a class at BMHS where you teach kindergarten, third, and fourth graders in the district? How cool is that? The name of the course is CLOSE, Co Lake Outdoor Science Education. Starting next year, it will be a full year elective science. Many have referred to the CLOSE class as a mini camp microbe. First semester will involve investigating a deeper understanding of kindergarten, third grade, fourth grade science standards and experiencing what successful teaching and learning looks like in three field trips to the elementary classes will be the highlight of the first semester. Second semester will involve preparation for the busy spring quarter which will involve a service project and teaching over 1,300 elementary students in 10 weeks at the Coe Lake Nature Trail. In addition to 30 service hours for this course, students are also encouraged to participate in the Camp My Broby experience for additional service hours. And who doesn't like to sing and dance as part of this course? Watch as this year's Coe Lake class shows off their skills dancing and singing for the elementary students in BCSD. See Ms. No. Baumgartner and Ms. Draves in C-115 and C-116 for more information. For the main lunch today, we will have regular or spicy chicken sandwich, baked beans with fruit and milk. Three City Subs has a ham and cheese sub, a hot barbecue chicken salad sub, and Italian salad. The 165 Cafe is serving their bistro box and featuring the strawberry smoothie with hummus and pitas. Thursday's breakfast is waffles, cereal, fresh fruit, juice, and milk. Now here's a reminder about recycling from some student council. Hi, we're Student Council. And we're here to tell you the do's and don'ts of recycling during a school day. We've added small bins in every office and classroom with a poster on it in case you forget, but here's what you should keep in mind. Do throw out normal paper, including old assignments, tests, and worksheets. These papers can have pencil, pen, or marker on them and are still able to be recycled. Do not throw out any paper containing your personal information, including your scheduling papers, transcripts, pay stubs, etc. Do not throw away any paper stained with food, grease, or another liquid besides water. Do not throw away any shiny, metallic, or sparkly paper, likely from your art classes. Do not throw away any papers held together with any sort of metal. This may include paper clips, binder clips, or staples. If you need a little reminder of what you can and cannot recycle, remember, push in P for paper into the recycle, and push in PGSM into the trash. P 
for personal information, G for greasy paper, S for shiny paper, and M for metals. Students, do you want some free clothes? All students are invited to see Ms. Boone in room A202 during the second half of Lunch and Learn to look at gently used clothing ranging in sizes 0 to 7 and small to large. Items include female, female jeans, sweatshirts, tanks, t-shirts, dress tops, and skirts, cords, and dress pants, plus more. First come, first serve, and everything is free. More items will become available as the year progresses. Items cannot be tried on in school, but they may be returned to Ms. Boone if they do not fit. The clothing drive will now be a part of the NHS Dodgeball Tournament we are having on March 26th at the middle school. The clothing are the team members pay to play, but any and all donations are welcome and will be going to Audrey's outreach. That's all the announcements we have for you today. Have, have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Titans! Titans.